Okay. <clears throat> I'm doing this against my better judgment because I am not good at these football games. Never played football, so it's just kind of one of those. We're going to try it out, see how it works. Welcome back to the channel for those of you that are returning. Welcome for those newbies here. Excuse me. I am the OGGO Greg Osmond. This is Madden 20, and we're going to try our hand at face of the franchise. Like I said, I'm not good at all. Um, I started this uh, started this once before. I did not do well at it. So uh, we're going to try our hand at this again uh, and just see how it goes. I'm going to put it to you simply. I want you to be our starting quarterback. And I'm talking from day one. If you work hard, you focus, and you commit, you're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're going to win a national championship together. Okay. Day one starter. That's a pretty good deal. But that does not look like me at all. So we're going to have to alter that quite a bit. That, ooh, that guy looks like an alien. Let's get my, uh, my hairstyle in here. Uh, oh, I, I do, I do not have an afro at all. What is short wavy? That's... That's closer to what I have. I do not have black hair though. Light brown is a base, a better, uh, better option there. What? Oh, more. The swashbuckler. Is that really what that is? The swashbuckler. Wow. Okay. We're gonna go with that. Light brown and light green eyes. So we gotta make sure we got the right head shape here. That guy looks Chinese. No, no issue with that, but that I'm not, I'm not that. So yeah, we've got to, got to find a, a good option here. That actually might not be a bad one. We're actually going to go with this one, I think. Three. three is the best option so far. Yep, we're going to go with three. Uh, I don't really like to put a ton of time into stuff like this, but um, my hometown is not Mathis. I have no idea where that is. We're going to put, uh, put my real hometown in here, where I currently live. The hometown of 2016 World Series MVP Ben Zobrist. And accept that and continue on through here. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O line. Uh, without them, this stuff. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that I'm even in this position right now. Voice hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're going to be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Yeah, always uh, carry on conversations with people you meet in the bathroom. That's, that's a great idea. Totally joking there. That is a terrible idea. Who's it going to be? Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Where are we going to sign? Where are we going to sign? Where should we sign? You know what? Hmm. I'm going to go with Florida. I don't really watch a lot of football. Uh, I kind of half-ass pay attention to some of it, but uh, I am uh, 
as I stated before, not very good at these games. So you guys should get a kick out of it. So now we've advanced four years. That was a quick four years. With this team's star starting quarterback out, they're turning to a kid who's never taken a snap in college. Not one. Look, their game plan isn't complicated. Drop back, scan the field, and throw it to Isaiah Strugas. That's what's got them to the college football playoff, and that's what's going to keep them in this game. Drop back, scan, and throw. We're not sure the new kid can do any of these things. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Nate? Four years ago, he was a five-star recruit. They had high hopes for this dude. I uh, does not say something right there. What happened to that trust? Now, Coach, well, I, I think me? we're about to find out. Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night, and he's coming here. What? 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 That doesn't make any sense. You said I was going to be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. Just wait. Strong words. Strong words there. If you're the coach, how do you let five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. The better question is if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. But to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough. You gotta prove it to those guys. Yep. I take this. All right, gentlemen. Like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. We got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. Business trip time. College football playoffs. Look at all the snow on that bus. That was, ugh. Snowed here yesterday a lot. Ugh. Oh, you ask me, you're the guy to get it done. you noticed. Hey, boy. Game day, baby. Game day. Get in there. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. The event staff is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe. Go on in there. Uh -huh. uh, this is for players and coaches. And this lady's not giving us any respect at all. Who are we going to play? Ooh, who should we be playing? Mm. We're here to play Oregon. I'm here to play Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. What? <clears throat> Ducks. Yeah. You? Okay. What's your name? I think this is the part where they uh, let us actually give ourselves a name. That's me. Here we go. That's you? Yeah. I know who you yeah, are, that's but uh, me. Pretty yeah. sure I know who I'm the I am. What? Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Oh, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna record them. Okay. All right. So we all know your situation tonight, but. We really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Ooh, what kind of style of play do oh, we have? Um, well, I, oh, man. I'm a field hey, job. man? I like to get the ball out quick. Get in my receiver's hands. Let him do the rest. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How am I... Teammates oh, describe leader. Yeah, leader. Leader all the way. Intense, you cutthroat, uh, a great leader, a jokester. Give me something. You know what? I'm kind of a film junkie. I like to lead by example in that way. So people would joke that I was like a mini-me of the coach. <laughs> okay. Yo, Taylor. Hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? 
Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, Bye. I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, oh, hell yeah, we're ready. ready. She means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. I got you. Okay, made a promise to his brother. I'm sure at some point we'll figure out what that promise was. We're about almost 10 minutes into this. Haven't really been able to do any football related stuff yet. Maybe that's what we're doing now. Oh, hey, there we go. We're going to run a few drills together just to make sure we're ready for the game tonight, okay? Okay. As a quarterback, you need to see all parts of the field. Hold LT to check out routes and personnel matchups before every play. Okay. See my route? I'm running, I'm running deep. Give me a few seconds to reach top speed and lightly tap my receiver icon B. Throw a lob pass down the field. Press A to snap the ball. He's running way deep. Look at that, like butter. So smooth, so smooth. <clears throat> All right, now I'm running a medium route. Your job's simple, when I make my cut, press and release my receiver icon B to throw the touch. Easiest pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. And what do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Come on, this is crazy, right? Right? I need to prove to him I can handle this. Maybe playing safe is the best option. Look, you don't have to prove anything, especially to him. Dude had you on the bench for four years, remember that? You need to wake up. There's a lot at stake right now for all of us. Even 
morsel for Isaiah, so you don't take what he says personally. You're doing the right thing. Okay. All right. Have a good game. The 2018 college football season has been a wild one, and we are now down to four as EA Sports is proud to welcome you to AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Tonight, it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups as we'll see the Oregon Ducks taking on the Florida Gators. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Uh, thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. Means a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. For the right to play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara, we are underway from Arlington in the national playoff semifinal. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's a first and 10, Oregon. They'll run with Keller. Broken tackle. And they are not going to let him turn the corner. Some serious pressure right out of the gate. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. To throw on second down. Birch. Going to throw right side here. Complete. 16 yards of first down. Let's go. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man. So I'm not sure if you guys heard me, but I've never played football. Defense confuses me. So I'm just going to do what I need to for the time being until I learn a little bit more. Fired a bullet in there for the completion. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw on second down. Birch. Ooh, almost had the interception there. Almost had the interception. The Oregon Ducks looking for that elusive first national title. Of course, they've been in the National College Football Playoff before behind Marcus Mariota following the 2014 season. And they beat Florida State that year before falling 42-20 to in the championship game. Now Birch. Oh, almost had it again. So that's uh, forced down now, so forcing them to uh, forcing them to punt. Good defensive stand there. Did give up that one first down, but I'm um, definitely happy that we did not get scored on. So I think we're just going to let that. Oh my goodness. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This oh well. Yeah, well we got plenty of time. I think uh, one of the biggest things we're going to do here is try and try and use clock and just march down the field. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, Ooh. inside the five. Superb. And he's that was not a not a good first play. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Okay. And I'll get set here. There we go. There we go. Our first college completion. All right. All right. Okay. Oh. 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 We shedded that first one, but uh, our defender just couldn't hold it. Our blocker just couldn't hold it. There we go. Got a hole. Go, 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 go. Oh, there we go. That's a good run. That's a good run. 
The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. Right, we're he got to try the left side Isaiah of his own line here. and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes yeah, off and he's, goes. He's covered. But more yeah. the latter, I think, which is he has out. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Okay, lost three yards there. I think that's there. an example of how the game that's speed fine, is different though. than in practice, because in practice, you might not be going full speed. A lot of guys in shorts coming your way. So it's going to be a big key to see how he adjusts to how the speed really picks up in this game. And there if he's we go. able to get rid of Isaiah Streets for another first down. He's hit the ground with a sack since his high school days. He played in a couple spring games, but those were non contact <clears> for the quarterback. Yeah, they're wearing a different color jersey. No one hits the QB, even in the spring game. That's the All first right, pass that Isaiah Streets has run caught it again. his career by somebody other than Marcus Washington. And you talk about this quarterback change and the impact on this offense. Okay, certainly it has motion. a huge effect on these okay, wide receivers. The good middle. thing, though, when yes. you've got a guy like Isaiah yes. Streets, you've got reliability, one of the best receivers in the country. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Second the and eight, a couple yards, two. not a lot, but, and eight. but enough. Here's second and eight. This one complete to Streets. Nailed. That catch good for third five. and third three. Down. All right, what should we do here? All right, we're gonna. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll drop to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Get the first down. And get the first down. There we go. There we go. That's complete. They get nine yards there and they get nine a first down. Nine yards. A good throw there, but boy, a tough situation for this offense, for this program, really. When you think about it, Marcus Washington, okay. four year starter, came in as a true freshman to lead this team. He's third all time in passing yards in school ooh, history, ooh. second in touchdowns, twice in All American, there. a Heisman finalist, all that stuff. Never missed a game in his college career, 53 starts, but now he sits and watches as his understudy for the last four years finally gets his shot in the leading role. No score after one on EA Sports. All right. We didn't score, but neither did they, which is, you know, half the battle. So, all right, let's see if we can convert down here in the red zone. Second and nine now. Flush to his right. There it is. Get in there. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. All right. That's what Walking I'm talking about. Walking into the about. stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped. Seven to nothing. There we go. They thought they had a quarterback. Used up a they lot of time on that drive. You do this. Yeah, I think that's, that's going to be the key here. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. Up, that's use that's up, use up time. Here's Florida now after the touchdown. Back out to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and All right. he'll start at the 20. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my my chair creaking. I, I need to, to do something about it. Or I need to get a new chair. So, uh, that's probably, probably in the works here in a few months. Oh, there we go. Good stop. Good stop. First down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up three yards on that one. Three yards on first down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Ooh, get him, get him, get him. There we go. Left side into the hands of his tight end. He got four yards, but still third and nine. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that They're play. probably going to try and pass safety it. Valve that's built like this guy. They need, Big target. They need a guy you can spot pretty easily. Here. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Bird set to pass. Looking for his there we go. Pass. Yes. And he's Fourth down again. It's a three and out. I'm I'm happy with that. For and that's sure. gonna bring up a fourth down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just right, as critical to the to passing this attack one. as a lot of Ooh, didn't get, a, didn't get very because far. their ability Battle to make people miss in the open field Ooh. can really generate big plays for an offense. Alright, here we go. 
ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. And now they oh, have no. a chance to really seize early momentum. Oh, boy, that was, they had a really excellent week of practice that that was game not together. good. That was not good at all. In the locker room in pregame, somehow I think yeah, the head coach, his own rhetorical skills were on point. Second and 15. No, no, no. Third and 24. That is. Uh, that is well, there was second good. long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. He'll let it get go. There, get there, get there, get there. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Ooh, no, he He's was, picked off at his own 47. He the was out of bounds. Season, probably not the Let's see if. Nope, there's no. The no there's no that the he was definitely out of bounds. But no let's. Uh, I, I just. I, don't, I can't even replay. So. Yeah. Pretty, pretty sure he was out of bounds. But uh, whatever. It is what it is. It's been another good stop here. Yourself. There we go. There we go. I got one yard there. Don't throw an interception early. Make sure you take care of the football. But now he's got it out of the way. Hopefully he can just settle in and move on. Hey, that's all right though. That's all right. nine, just a yard on that last run. Gonna go with Keller here. There we go. There we go. Get him down. Get him down. Yes. We got two yards. Third and seven. I doubt they try. I doubt they try to run it. I'm probably gonna throw it. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Oh, he was wide open. Damn it. The 12 yards that time and picking up the first. The Ducks come up now first and 10. Operating from the gun. Barch. Washington's got it. And he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12 yard gain. Man. This offense Almost like we're just legs falling now. apart. It's another first and 10. From the gun. Barch. There we go. Okay. That's complete. We only got five. This will be a five yard pick up. We only got five yards there. The the Call it a gain of five. And it'll bring up a second down. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. Yes. Throwing yes. There we go. Okay. Down, Third down. This time it's incomplete. Third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. Third and five. It came yeah. in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. From the gun on third down. Get him. Okay, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. That's Carlson. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Okay. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there limiting okay. that and keeping okay. them from we're still, down. We're still up. We've still got our lead. We've got 22 seconds left, though. We so will get the ball back, still though, down, but they put which is good because we kicked off the first going half. Into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. This will be taken in at the one. Okay. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. All right, yeah, we're just gonna, we're not gonna do anything stupid here, which is what I would normally do <laughs> in this situation, but 18 seconds to go, we're just gonna shoot the clock down. combination of Marcus Washington and Isaiah Streets. Streets saying Washington's like a second brother to him, and of course, many know the story. Isaiah's older brother, Ezekiel, tremendous athlete in his own right, but lost too soon to leukemia a year ago next week at the age of 20. And that is really a gut-wrenching story, as you know. Oh, and you look back at their high school days right here in Texas, just outside of Houston. Zeke was the star quarterback. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's check in with you. How do you feel about the first half? That's how we play. Let's go. We had a great first half. We keep doing what we're doing, we might win this thing. There's a lot of wheeze in that sentence. It's a good thing to recognize your teammates. But you remember, you're leading the charge tonight, all right? So get out there and let's put this thing away. Second half. 
You got it, Choche. Let's go. So it's good to know that there is a backstory there with uh, Isaiah Streets and his brother. I'm sure there'll be a little more, uh, a little more information on that here in the future, uh, or moving along with this. Hey, coach. Really good job out there in the first half. I, uh, I should have trusted you more. That's on me. I'm over it. All that matters is the win. All right. Can you handle it if I open up the playbook a little bit in the second half? Let's do it. Let's get him. Thanks, Coach. Yep, yep. No hold grudges. All right. Grudges just occupy time, occupy space the in your brain that could be better used for something else. Home so. as we start the second half <clears> of this semifinal All right, here we go. At the goal this line. At the goal line. Okay. Bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. Okay. Okay. 23, 23 yard return. All right. So what do we, what do we do here? First down. I don't want to go too crazy. Let's try the. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's okay. the Florida okay. offense. They have the lead now. Man, They'll be looking for some separation get, here. If he can get out the there, quarter. man. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like with it. Damn it. Find it. Anywhere to go with it. That's not going to happen. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive uh, offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage. Not a great start. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and ten. Oh my god. Down. Back at his own six yard line. It takes so long for now them to the just start throw the, the ball. Back to back sacks. Whatever the halftime speech was, I hope they recorded it. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very There we go. That's what we needed. out of danger so much for playing it conservatively back towards your own goal line that aggressive mentality sometimes you can you use be it and they did there against be the defense who probably thought to themselves no way they there we go there we go eight yards territory. eight yards and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two all right let's uh let's run the ball here this is an option They'll run with Clements. Oh. He is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. For the Gators, they are in search of their fourth national title in school history. They lifted the trophy for the first time back in 96. And then most recently, they were champions in 2006 and again in 2008. Sliding out of the pocket. Okay. He may okay. try and run for We this. got it. We got and the first down. That's all we needed. We just needed the first down. Being taken down at midfield. Apart from Kyler Murray, not too many mobile QBs in this year's rookie class, but some good scrambling there to get the first. The Gators now with a first and ten. They'll look to throw. Oh, overthrow. Overthrow. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. That's fine. That's fine. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that okay. one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. What? Second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. How did he not catch that? He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 50. Ready. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. He can run for it and he wins. Damn it. And they stop him up short okay. of the first down as they get him at about the 43. Decent gain on the scramble of six, but now it's fourth. I don't really want to punt the ball, though. Even if we don't convert, they don't have great field position. 
Now a shotgun snap is there. Look to throw. There we go. Flushed there we go. We got it. He may try and run for this. There we go. Okay. Past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two. Yeah, we're just trying to chew the clock here. Chew the clock. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. This will be a carry Final for Clemens. Final hole. There we go. There we go. First down. Yes. Down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because right, when you see that a, type of a run, yeah. I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll set up a throw. There we go. Get, get across. Get across. Did we get it? I think we did. I think we got the first down there. All right. All right. Oh, man, my guy on the left side, he got, he got through. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Three yards on the pickup there. Three yards, okay, okay. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Don't matter if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever got a few yards an there. MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Okay. Well done. We gotta make something. Two yards on here. the carry there, and it's gonna lead them to third down. I'm gonna try something here. Out of the gun now on third down. Oh, that was a bad idea. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Able to get there and pick it. I wanted to throw it as soon as I got it. That clearly. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Three seconds left. So just Throwing on first down. Birch. There we go. There we go. Get him down. Yes. Down. Yes. Woo! Three. All right, so we're going in the last quarter. Back we're up by four. EA Sports. We do not have As the ball. We are just about set to go here Second in and 18. Number four. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was close. Third and 18 now. You know they're going to throw it. They're going to have to throw it, so... I guess they're in a situation now in the fourth quarter where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was a type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall, and they can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. He'll take it at the 42. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Not sure why, but my microphone keeps keeps shutting off. Maybe I'm just not close enough to it, but all right, here we go. Oh, he found a hole. That's a good run. That's a good run. Six yards. Okay. We're gonna use up the entire play clock. The entire play clock. I know this is a long episode, and I thank those that have stayed here throughout the entire uh, entirety of this this first episode here in Madden 20, face of the franchise. Man, I had no idea it was gonna go this long, though. There it is. There it is. Ooh, third and one. Third and one. Okay. Just need one yard here. One yard. There we go. Get through. There it is. Got the one and some. There it is. Seventeen yards on the pickup, and it'll give him a first down. 
Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Right back to him on first down. Ooh, 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 ooh. He stayed up. He stayed up there. We got to try and get something to uh, to Isaiah Streets here now. We just saw they're able to corral him quickly defensively. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Where is he? Hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. So up through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Second and four. Get in there. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The one yard line. Man. On that one. And a first down. The Gators now with a first and goal. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, my God. Line, but it's incomplete. Man, if they would have picked that off, I, I may have just shut off the Xbox Let's face right it, now. you got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. Okay. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. And oh, that's, that's not caught. who was supposed touchdown to catch that. But Chris we'll take it. His second touchdown of the night. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. Well, when we were setting up and going over our run-throughs early this afternoon, all right, talking there six we go. Hours before kickoff, we saw Isaiah Streets out there alone with just his young quarterback and center going through all sorts of different routes, making sure that they had everything ironed out, and it pays off there on the touchdown throw. Good kick. That's a great kick. That'll be taken in the end zone. There we go. And okay, 14 to three. Turn this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. They're probably going to be the Ducks two and a half minutes left. Probably going to be passing line, as much as possible. They, they don't want to chew too much of the clock. Which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. Okay, there we go. They're, looking for now they're probably going to be using timeouts move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. To throw on second down. Burch. Get him, get him, get him. Quickly here, right, that's third complete. and three here. Eight yards of the completion, but now well, they, they take their first time out. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. From the gun on third down, oh, he Birch. And he'll find Washington, that's complete. A gain of 19 and picking up the first. Man. Definitely don't want to see that. But, uh, even if they score, it's not going to not gonna make a huge difference. Oh, yes. Go, go, go. Take it to the house. Take it to the house. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Another good kick. That's fielded in the end zone. And yes, I'm stoked now, man. Uh, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Oregon offense on the field. Here we go. Here we go. Need a big stop here. Big, big stop. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. Oh, man. Oh, oh he dropped it. He was wide open. It was in his hands. He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. All right. Here we go. Minute 19. Some teams like to do something to feel a little bit better as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Oh, yes. That's what we need. That is a big set. Third and 18. Over here before what will be an important third down. Operating from the gun. Oh, we got him. Yes. 
two in a row. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. How about three sacks in a row? Yes. Yes. Oh, no. You know what? We got to. We got to get Isaiah Streets. We got to get him. We got to get him. Him a, a, a TD here. Where is he? B. Oh, that was a bad idea. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up Should have got it to him quicker. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short right, little Isaiah passes Streets. may work. I want to get him a TD. Of running plays, keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. There it is. Touchdown, Florida. Isaiah Streets. There to make the grab. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. This has been a good second That's half. Me. Even though it didn't That's start that great. We turned it around. I think Man, I am super way. happy yeah, with how things are going here. The proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Point after, right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. Here's Florida now after the touchdown. Back out to kick it off. Man, another great kick. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Normally in a situation like that, you're not going to be that aggressive. But, uh, Let's just be frank. you know, my uh, my quarterback here hasn't played since high school. So we're uh, trying to get him some, some snaps. Oh, man. Oh, he stepped out. Mm. Yes, got another interception. Let's try and get something else to uh, to Isaiah Streets here. I think he uh, I think he deserves it. Oh no no, that was a bad idea. Shoot. You know what? That's okay. That is that is okay. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been oh my God. a third time tonight he's intercepted? Picked off at the 24. Three plays in a row. We intercept them. They intercept us. We intercept them. Man. <laughs> Oh, that is that is exciting football right there. Man. But the biggest one is you don't have much reaction time for your receivers to go get the football because those guys, they're the best cover guys on the field. They go get it. And on that play, they took it the other way for six points. All right. Give him a chance to actually run it back. This is fielded at the goal line. Oh man. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line. All right. Now they are going to be throwing the ball. So the Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. They have a little Oopsies. bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, He's yep, that was entirely clock, my fault. Shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they Still do here down. in this last sequence. That was that was entirely my fault. Hey, that's all right. That is all right with me. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while, or you call it a day? Oh, man. Good, good play call by me. Oh, and push him out of bounds. Stops the clock. Try and execute that on the way out the door. Maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better. Right, they're going to be the ball game has been a frustrating they're gonna be throwing it deep. We'll see if they go back to base. On first and ten, Birch, he's going to let it fly. Oh, he didn't catch it. But there's one second left. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm going to see the same thing here. On first, now second and ten. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. One final shot. They'll look to throw. 
Oh, we got the interception again. Yes. That is what I am talking about. That's how you end the game right there. So on the strength of three touchdown passes in the first college start for their senior quarterback, the Florida Gators are moving on to play for a national championship on January 7th. Yes, we are. Yep, yep. That is that is Cinderella story right there. I'm really proud of you. Thank you, sir. How's a gutsy performance out there tonight? You took us to a national championship when nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth. I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, baby, we're going to the chip. Woo. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> M. Looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? <laughs> okay. Hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? Yeah. Look, Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well. Oh, purple, for sure. Hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I think I'm going to have to go with purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, look. <laughs> you see, look, you don't, you don't pick from the options given. All right, the game is in the name. Off the board. Now it's clicking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches its horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, Onyx? <laughs> okay. I told you, she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but... Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Uh-oh. Yeah, of course, anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four? Four touchdowns. <laughs> is, is that okay? Four? Hell yeah. Well, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't, don't worry. He'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Emily. You too. All right. Okay. That is where we're going to end it today. Uh, this is a long episode, so thank you for those that stuck around. Uh, I am the OGGO Greg Osmond. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, follow along as we progress through Madden 20, Face of the Franchise. This was episode one. And as always, I will see you guys next time.